Hi, today I want to show you how to create these magical balls which are like changing their shapes and, and they are also animated. I will play, they will change and like flowing uh, water, gas, or maybe like even wood, wood patterns on this really different kind of shapes. They are uh, they're also in an open and or they can be open if you close this think the or uh, refreshing ball close enough they also change their shapes so um how is it possible to do this really nice balls i go a little bit back and i will show you a sim more simple version of them this is here I go to geometry node settings. So here. And now let's go to first of all check the uh, how the geometry of this uh shapes work. Um let me give a second to to change to EV and with this ones have their have their um but in the material is the transparency is set. If I go there, and you can see I bring this one and this is the, the most simple version of this this balls. Turn off the grid. And you can see better. So like you can see, this is the most basic version of it. How this works? Um, let's go to geometry nodes. It's a very basic setting for the in geometry nodes. Um, I have simply uh, a, a collection of objects, which are this this shapers. I call them the objects. Just very simple. And this they are in this collection of objects. And I use the prox geometry proximity node. Uh, by realizing these instances, geometry proximity node uh, of of their distance to this object, and just mapping this range and bringing the result as a as a color information into the geometry nodes output. Here you can see it becomes a color information. When I take this color information and use it in in shading to this is also a very basic setting of it so as as a color attribute you can you have to i think you have to also um in in uh, i know you don't you don't really need you can you can create this color attribute and you can use this color attribute which is basically the proximity of the of this ball or any other object which are on the in the in the object uh, collection and giving their uh, distance to the object and this will be mapped to to a certain distance which we can also play with so we can can increase the distance or decrease the distance here by connecting this to the input part and um to to zero else you will like have, have the opposite effect if you go up to plus you will see you will not see anything so therefore um this is the distance which starts from uh, from a value but for a positive value and um it is mapped so this this value of the distance is mapped to a uh, to a setting from um from minimum 1.2 or like even less will be bigger but if you go to close to zero then the distance disappears and the result you have to check it here the group output uh, has to be a color color attribute and you call it color and this color attribute is also the color attribute in shading and we take this information and use it to to make basically 
transparency. So I have here like two 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 notes mixing, transparency note, and uh, principal shading shader note, and this is like this is what happens basically here. So I could also take it off, and this will be still the distance of these two two objects are making but it's close to them transparent uh, on top of that i started to play a little bit with musgrave textures so maybe you know if you take one musgrave and one noise texture it's basically this nice wood pattern uh, you can also like scale it a little bit or play with it a little bit ag again uh deal with the spot types and to create like a really nice wooden patterns if you go a little bit further you can also mix one uh, musgrave texture i'll also make this alpha we'll not see so you can also mix i will bring this here you can mix with this transparency setting which we did there uh, this was our basic transparency setting so in the in in the first case it is just like um, one, one mapping color ramp row node and the color attribute. It's just, it's basically the color attribute. So if you take the, just the color attribute without anything, you will still have it. So you see that it's the just the corners will get here uh, transparent. So if you add a color ramp, you can play a little bit with the distance. Uh, but if you want to make a little bit more complex things like like this 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 case. So like if you bring it close, um, where else the? So if you bring it close, it is it has this really nice um, shapes here. Then you can use the same information also for the uh, mix mix this color attribute with a noise texture with uh, with a generative source. So if you don't have this generative, then it doesn't work proper very good. I take it off. So it it still works, but it is maybe like not the best case. Put it back, and then you can use this mixed information. So you mix like basically this, the original color attribute, with a little bit uh, noise. In case like you can also have just this, just the noise, but we don't want this. We want to mix them and turn off the show back face option because then they are mixing not so very good. So you can see that um, I will have it here, and then the the the, the ends, end part of it are becoming transparent. And basically, these are um, extensions of it. So I have here another uh, another uh, object, which makes the which distance makes the other objects transparent. So, sorry, I make it a little bit bigger, maybe to to see it, the effect better. We can and it but this is what it makes the other objects to 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 melt um i am now in ev therefore my uh, this object doesn't look properly because it's a volumetric object in this case i used a similar musgrave and the musgrave texture to play with the density but this you only see when you go back cycles and also like let's play a little bit so now we can see it much better. Here, this is like this smoky, eerie version of of notes. And uh, I played with with the properties of it with the Musgrave texture with the rotation. It must be 4D in order to loop very properly. Uh, I played with this V rotation, it, which is like the fourth work vector uh, plus to X Y Z, and I um, put a expression on it. Basically, a radiance frame, which loops properly. If I go to the animation, um, which all these textures are looping in 360 frames. This was the reason. So, like yeah, here. And therefore, I put the put this uh, this um, let's say this proportions are oh, here by shading. Yes, this um, animated. Script, uh, script expressions to animate uh, the functions of, of, of different nodes. So sometimes the, the rotation, 
sometimes the uh, Z rotation, in other cases the Y rotation of the of the mapping of this of the um, transparency helper, and uh, you can also play also as well with with these ones. Or if you have a like also 4D one, you can um, I think this doesn't belong to this one. Can in geometry rules, yes, here. And then, but this one, why doesn't it work? Why does I now it? This is this working part, but the other part, ah, because because one of them is not not the um, right one, I think. No, it's pretty strange why it doesn't work here because this part does work very good. This one doesn't really because like this works very good and the scaling I mean yes it works it's just we don't we don't see it it's just here so the the little ones are working as well so maybe we can also do it here and add here a radiance frame property and now they are also glowing going back and forth because I connected also um similar property from here for this noise texture here to the roughness of the of the um, of reflections in this way like it is, has also this really nice uh like underwater like uh animation or glow or reflections so yeah I think you can really play a lot with um, with geometry nodes, here I put it here also in the sphere that it moves around in the air way again in a magical way, which is this rotation of of an empty. Basically, this this one is working going around, take it a little bit away, and it will go through them, make them partially invisible. But still, it it itself is has this smoky smoky view. We can also play with it a little bit, either like opening the colors or maybe it's like increasing the scale of it of the one of the Musgrave textures that the this uh, the thickness of them is are increasing. So like the detail, yeah, maybe like this kind of this and maybe like a little clarity to. see also this is it is also animated with the musgrave texture which which has also the v axis is animated here and like a like a ghost eating <laughs> this this balls um i got very much inspiration for this tutorial in uh, from from these two tutorials which i will also link in the comments um one is this one which here i got the this from uh, benjamin weimar i got the um, idea with the with the distances he is very pretty good explaining the how can you can use the geometry nodes setting to get the distance of an object to create like intersections and and find like these really nice beautiful waves um, I wanted to just do this tutorial, but then got, I got inspired to do something else, and I used just this this part of his uh, geometry node setting to to get this information uh, to forward this information to shader nodes, and then I took uh, this wood uh, texture inspiration also from uh, Smith's uh, natural wood material. This is also a very very nice tutorial where you can get really very simple setting of of woods. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next tutorial.